what I'm going to say is that what the government are doing is political oppression and they are denying a person's right for, to an education. Why should I be denied of an education when an able-bodied person doesn't have to fight for their education at all? And what fight did you have to make to get your education, Cameron? Oh, we had to go through the authority, we had to go to doctors to get medical references, had to go to OTs, had to con had to get contact contact from a lot of people to get to where I'm at. Yeah. I'm at. And what have you learned at Specialist College? I've learned that if you have enough drive, enough passion, enough fire in you, you can do anything that you want to be. Within your capability, of course. And what do you want to be? I want to learn all these foreign languages, then go around the world and expose discrimination. And in the process, help a lot of people regain control of their life. And you've already learnt some languages, is that right? Yeah, Russian. I know a bit of Croatian. Give me some Russian and Croatian. As they say in the Russian, do svetanya spasiba. What does that mean? Thank you very much, my old friend. Goodbye. And can you speak Urdu? What does that mean? I can't talk to you right now, I'm driving. <laughs> uh, and tell me a little bit about what specialist colleges enable people to do after they leave college. After they leave college, a whole host of opportunities can open up to them. They can get, they can get hopefully a job, uh, uh, but jobs are really hard to get these days. Uh, my aim when I leave college is to carry on with my activism, carry on pushing forward to make the world better, not only for disabled people, but for people in general.